walls made of fine brass. Welcome to my eighth ever series ranking video and today i'm going to be taking a look at the leprechaun franchise because guess what today is it is saint patrick's day yay i'm gonna rank the leprechaun series from my least favorite to my most favorite so let's get started number seven is leprechaun 4 in space i feel that this is the point in the series where it went way too silly and over the top and cheesiness i think that the fact that they don't have him rhyme at all is also another downside to it it said a point in the series where they're like yeah what do we do now he's been on earth three times well, let's just keep him on Earth. No, that's ridiculous. Put him in space. But Leprechaun 4, it's not a terrible movie. It's just not that good. So I give it a 2 out of 5. Because some of the characters are pretty funny, and the special effects, so while cheesy, are still fun to look at. Number six is Leprechaun 6, Back to the Hood. The, the jokes are raunchy, and the Leprechaun, he is funny. Probably more funny than in the movie I'm coming up to next. There's something about him that isn't quite right. So I give it a two out of five. Number five is Leprechaun in the Hood. Now, Warwick Davis might not have been as funny as he was in, in Leprechaun Back to the Hood in this one, but he is still pretty funny. I actually like the characters better in this one than I do in Back to the Hood. It's just, it's all over the place, though. They get this plot about them trying to be big in the music business, and then Leprechaun gets released after the necklace has been taking off, which I like that. It's following part three's lore, so that's pretty cool. But overall, I gave it a 2.5 out of 5. Number four is Leprechaun Origins. You're probably all thinking, dude, this is the worst Leprechaun movie ever, and I'm not going to agree with you. I think it's cliche, it's stupid, but I like the fact that they took it in a different direction. I have always wanted to see a Leprechaun movie where there was more of a creature than it was just a rhyme-spitting, foul-mouthed Leprechaun, you know? I can get where they're trying to go with it, and the, the gore effects in the Leprechaun is actually pretty cool. Even if you don't see the Leprechaun too much, I think that Hornswoggle does a good job portraying the Leprechaun, even though it's almost pointless to even have a wrestler in the costume because he's not going to get any actual face time. He's just going to be in the side of the Leprechaun suit, but it's still pretty cool. I give it a three out of five. Number three is Leprechaun 3, Las Vegas. How could you go wrong? This film is filled with potential, and it actually does deliver on some aspects. I enjoy Warwick Davis as the Leprechaun. I enjoy the female lead, the male lead. I like the Werepicon or whatever you want to call it for the Werewolf Leprechaun kind of thing. That's pretty funny. So, so I really enjoyed this movie, and I give it a three out of five. Number two is, ironically, Leprechaun 2. I think I've watched this one more than I've watched any of the other ones, just for the entertainment value. It's got some fun characters, and it's got some quirky moments. I used to think it was better than the first, but now I kind of reconsider that, and I really do enjoy it, though, so I give it a 3.5 out of 5. If you haven't guessed it already, the Jennifer Aniston-filled Leprechaun is my number one. This is a ridiculous film. I mean, it came out in 1993, and the era for cheesy movies such as Carnosaur and Ticks. So I really love Leprechaun, the first one. It's my favorite. I love watching it more than I like watching any of the other ones. Even if I watch Leprechaun 2 the most, I give it a 3.5 out of 5. I'm Brian Gatto, host of our show, Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below to leave comments and subscribe.